Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew here. Today we're going to be doing another Leak Code episode. So today we're going to be doing question number 41, which is called First Missing Positive. So um, today I had, or this weekend, I had time to do a hard question or what they consider to be hard. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So they want you to uh, take an unsorted integer array, find the smallest positive, uh, miss smallest missing positive integer. So first, I didn't really understand what that meant. So I kind of had to look through the examples and read it a couple times and try to understand what they wanted. Because what, what do they mean by missing positive integer? Um, well, they just want the number that isn't in the given input array. And it's also the smallest one that isn't in the input array. So for example, here we have zero, one, and two. Um, so three is the uh, next number that isn't in there. For this one, uh, one, two, three, um, two is not in there. So two is the smallest missing integer. Here, one is missing. So essentially they want this in linear time and use a constant amount of memory. Of extra memory okay so how are we going to go about doing this well first off let's go ahead and just filter out the non-positive numbers so let's go ahead and say um, positive numbers equals nums dot filter and we're just going to remove anything that is less than zero less than or equal to zero so we want stuff that is positive only. And next up, um, we want to figure out some kind of a way to find the next, the smallest missing positive number. So there's a lot of ways to do this. However, many of the ways to do it are not in linear time. So one way I thought about doing it was kind of um, similar to bucket sort. I don't know if you're familiar with that where essentially we would um, loop through the array that we have right now and kind of uh, put into some sort of data structure um, information about the numbers that we come across so that um, we're going to parse through it once more after, after this initial time. And then we'll be able to have the necessary information based on our first pass through it. So the way I learned a bucket sort in school was using an array uh, however, there is the downside of that in that if the um, if the maximum number is very big, you're going to have a very, very big array. So there's another way um, we can do it using a JavaScript set. So a set has uh, the similar advantages and maybe even a uh, bucket sort is implemented using it these days, but maybe not. I don't really know. Um, I don't really care, honestly. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue using that idea. So we're going to call it, um, I don't know, um, the contains set. We're just going to use this to store information about uh, values that we have in our original uh, set of positive numbers. So we're going to loop through. this positive numbers array. And then we're just going to add this given positive number to our set, which will allow us to retrieve the truthiness of whether um, this value is in, in our given um, input. And it allows us to retrieve it rather quickly. And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, uh, calculate what the, the largest number is. We're going to need that a little bit further down in the line. So I'm just going to set it to zero at the beginning. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of some placeholder. Um, and then if the current positive number is greater than max, then we're just going to go ahead and update max. All right, so we're, so far we're just storing um, some information 
about the maximum number and we're also we put into a, a set um, each of the different numbers that we have in the original input and also filter down to only the positive numbers okay so now we're going to go one by one starting at one and incrementing by one and we're going to see which is the first number in the natural counting numbers of mathematics you know one two three four five we're going to figure out which of these numbers is the lowest one that is not included in our set so we're going to use a do while loop here you can use many many kinds of loops um, i'm just going to go ahead with this one for now so this is where we're using the maximum that we had calculated earlier so what we're going to do is we're going to check if our contains set has the given value and if it does not, does not that means we want to return that value because that's going to be the missing value if our if our site didn't have that number and then we're just going to increment a and after we go through all of these um if like for example we had this uh, example number one um on the left side of the screen um we didn't have any like gaps in the in the numbers here it went zero one two and so on um so um there weren't any like missing numbers per se so in that case we after we increment the a for the last time we just take the next value of a so for example in here it was three which is outside the boundary of um the numbers that we had um been given so that's kind of the the line number 21 here is where we just return the final value of a which was incremented once at the very end so we get we go ahead and run that code it was accepted um, so let's go ahead and submit it and there we go so yeah that's uh it's called first missing positive if you uh, like this video go ahead and press the thumbs up button and uh subscribe to my channel for more videos